Hi, so for today, we're going to talk about transform of derivatives again, solving second order. In our previous video, we have already solved a uh, differential equation using the transform of derivatives, uh, but the first order. So in this video, I'm going to show you or solve, uh, uh, show you how to solve the second order uh, DE using the Laplace transform. And this is still a part of our advanced engineering mathematics video. And uh, we have, uh, if you can, if you wish to recall, we have the this uh, formula in uh, evaluating the Laplace of a derivative, okay, uh, with n as the nth derivative, and we have this uh, equation now, and our f of s is simply the Laplace transform of f of t. So we have the equation here. So uh, let's get started again. So if you haven't watched my video. My, the first part of this video, please watch it uh, and uh, before proceeding with this uh, video. So uh, let's get started. So we need to solve this given DE, wherein we have the solve the y double prime minus 3y prime plus 2y is equal, equal to uh, e raised to negative 40 with the given condition, initial condition, wherein y of 0 is equal to 1, and then we have y prime of 0 is equal to 5. So, again, we need to get the uh, Laplace transform of the whole equation. So, we have the Laplace transform of y double prime. Okay, let me just rewrite. So, we have y double prime minus the plus transform 3y prime. Then we have plus the Laplace transform 2y. Then we have the Laplace transform of e raised to negative 4t. Okay. So since this is uh, the Laplace of uh, y double prime, the n is equal to. So we have s raised to n, okay, y of s, okay, as our uh, in our formula, okay, minus s raised to n minus 1. Okay, y of uh, 0 minus, okay, then we have s raised to n minus 2, then we have y prime of 0. Uh, we can rewrite this as simply as y of 0, okay, y of 0. So, we have this form because our n is only equal to 2. So, up until that the, the, uh, the the exponent becomes zero that is the time we are going to stop with our formula so since we have n is equals to 2 so we have to stop with this formula if this is a pattern okay so we have to evaluate this so we have s squared our n is 2 because of the second derivative we have y of s then we have s simply s because 2 minus 1 is simply 1 so we have y of 0 here then we have s raised to 0 would be 1. So we have y prime of 0 here. So since we have the values or initial values of the uh, y of 0, we can simply substitute that is simply equal to 1. Then we have y, y prime of 0 is simply 5. So we have minus 5. Minus 5 in here. So we have s squared y of s. Okay. Take note that this y of s is the Laplace transform, okay? It's Laplace transform. So y of s minus s minus 5. So this is the Laplace transform of the first term only, this term only, okay? So we need to get the Laplace transform of this also. So we have Laplace transform of, uh, I can factor out 3 outside, then we have y prime. So that should be s raised to n y of s minus s raised to n minus 1 of y of 0. So we stop here because uh, upon substituting the value of n here, which is 1, this would become 0. So we have s, y of s, then we have minus, we have s raised to 1 minus 1 is 0 is equal to 1. So we have y of 0. Here. And take note that this is multiplied by 3. So we can have 3 s y of s okay, because that's the laplace transform of y prime it is multiplied by 3 the whole equation is multiplied by 3 so we have 
uh, 3s y of s, we have the initial condition of y of 0 is equal or equal 1. So we have 3s y of s, okay, minus 3. Okay, but since we have a negative here, well, we need to uh, distribute the negative 3 here, or negative 1 here. So we have negative 3s, okay, negative 3s, y of s, okay, plus 3. Okay, that's the uh, uh, Laplacian's form for this. So how about for 2y? So we have Laplacian's form of y. I can factor out 2 outside of the Laplace. So that is simply 2y of s, 2y okay, of s. And then lastly, for this equation, Laplace transform of e raised to negative 40, okay? So we have 1 over s plus 4. So we need to substitute the values, okay, that we have gotten in our Laplace transform into this. So we have... For y double prime, it's s squared, s squared y of s, okay, minus, we have s minus 5, okay, and then we have, for the second term, we have this, negative 3s y of s, okay, then we have plus 3, And then we have plus 2y of s is equal to 1 over s plus 4. And again, our goal here is to isolate y of s. Isolate y of s. So upon doing this, okay, I need to uh, first see what uh, terms uh, I can transpose on the other side. So this is s. Negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. Transpose it, so we have plus 2. And I can also transpose s. So we have negative 3s y of s plus 2 y of s. And then this is 1 over s plus 4. Then we have plus s. Okay. Then we have plus 2. So I can isolate the uh, y of s. So from here, I can factor out all the uh, y of s. y of s would be s squared minus 3s plus 2 is equal equals 1 over s plus 4 plus s plus 2. Okay? So again, I can isolate y of s. I'm going to divide both sides by this. So we have 1 over s squared minus 3s plus 2 multiplied by s plus 4. That is multiplied by s plus 4. Let me just rewrite this. Okay. And then we have plus s, okay, over s squared minus 3s plus 2 plus 2 over s squared minus 3s plus 2. Since they have the same denominator, we can combine them. So we have s squared minus 3s plus 2. Okay, and then we have, let me just rewrite this. So <laughs> that should be s squared minus 3s plus 2, and that multiplied by s plus 4. Then we have s plus 2. Then we have all over s squared minus 3s plus 2. What are we going to do is to simplify this, okay? So, we need to simplify this because we're getting the Laplace transform or inverse Laplace transform. So, cross multiplication, we're going to add this. So, we have s squared minus 3s plus 2 plus we have s plus 2 multiplied by s plus 4. We have s squared minus 3s plus 2 all over we have we're going to multiply this, so we have s squared minus 3s plus 2 squared, all right, then multiplied by s plus 4. So as you can see here, 
uh, we can factor out s squared minus ts plus 2 and this because it's both common to this uh, term. So we have s squared minus 3. Sorry, we have s squared minus 3s plus 2. Factor it out, this becomes 1. Okay? Plus s plus 2, s plus 4. All over our denominator, s squared minus 3s plus 2 squared multiplied by s plus 4. So as you can see, uh, it simplifies this. So we have the result as... 1 plus s plus 2, s plus 4, all over s squared minus 3, s plus 2, okay? Then we have s plus 4, okay? So upon simplifying this, okay, we can simplify it. If we perform this, okay, foil and then add 1, we have s squared plus 6s plus 8, Okay, and then plus 1 all over the denominator s squared minus 3s plus 2 multiplied by s plus 4. So we have now s squared s squared plus 6s plus 9. Okay, so if we're going to factor this, this is factorable. That would be s minus 1 multiplied by s minus 2, the factor of this, and multiplied by s plus 4. As you can see, we can solve or get the inverse Laplace of this by partial fractions. So again, resolving this into partial fractions, partial fractions, so we have distinct roots, okay, distinct linear roots. So we have a all over s minus 1 plus b all over s minus 2 plus c all over s plus 4. And then we're going to find the values of a, b, and c and take the inverse Laplace transform, then we get the answer. So multiply them by the denominator. Okay, so what will happen here is that we have s squared plus 6s plus 9. Then we have a, okay, S minus 1 would cancel, so we, we will be having S minus 2 plus S plus 4, multiplied by S plus 4. And then we have plus B, S minus 2 would cancel upon the uh, multiplication of this. So we have S minus 1 times S plus 4, then plus C, then we have S plus 4 would cancel here, so we are left with S minus 1 and S minus 2. So we can easily get the values of A, B, and C by assigning some certain values of S. Okay, so if we are going to assign S equal to 2, okay, we know that uh, what will happen, we have uh, 4 plus 12 plus 9, okay, equals A, 2 minus 2, that would be 0, so this term would be 0, okay, as well as this term would be 0 because uh, 2 minus 2 because of s minus 2. So the only term that is left would be 2 minus 1, this b, okay, and then 2 plus 4 plus c times 0, which is actually 0. So we have 25, okay, then we have b, value of b1 times, that is 6b, okay, if I'm not mistaken. So the value of b would be 25, over 6. So that's the value of our B. So two more to go. So how about if I'm going to uh, uh, assign value of S, okay, so that I can get A, assign a value of S as 1, okay. If I'm going to assign a value of S as 1, that, that would be 1 plus 6 plus 9. So as you can see, the B and the C would cancel because upon Substituting value of s is equal to 1, this would become 0 because of s minus 1. So b and c would be 0, so I can get a. So a, uh, 1 minus 2, we have 1 plus 4, we have 16. Then we have negative 1, okay, negative 5a, I'm mistaken. So we have a, 
equal to negative 16 over 5. So that is our value of A. And lastly, to get the value of uh, C, okay, I'm going to assign S that is uh, common in between A and B, and that is negative 4. So S, negative 4. So that this A, B would be 0. Okay, so I can assign it. So we have 16, S squared is negative F4 squared is 16 plus 6 times negative 4 plus 9. Okay, now equal to, okay, our value of uh, C, that is negative 4 minus 1, then we have negative 4 minus 2. So, if we are going to uh, uh, simplify, okay, simplify this, so this would be 16 minus 24 plus 9, okay, so this would be simply equal to 1 and then we have negative 4 minus 1 negative 5 and negative 5 times negative 6 so we have 30 okay c so the value of c is 1 over 30 so hence we already got the values of a b and c so we can now rewrite the equation as the s squared okay plus 6s plus 9 all over all over s minus 1 s minus 1 multiplied by s minus 2 and s plus 4 is now equal to our value of a which is negative 16 negative 16 over 5 all over, that is S minus 1. Then we have plus B. We have plus B, 25 over 6. All over S minus 2. Then we have 1 over 30 all over S plus 4. So we can also rewrite this as negative 16 over 5. Okay. Uh, then we have 1 over S minus 1. Plus 25 over 6 times 1 over s minus 2. Then we have plus 1 over 30 times 1 over s plus 4. We can also rewrite it as that. And then, this is now the our y of s. Okay? And in order for us to get the solution y of t, we need to get the inverse the plus of our y of s. Okay? That's very simple. So you're getting the inverse the plus of that, it's very easy, negative 16 over 5, okay? We know this, that this should be equal to the inverse of plus of 1 over s minus 1 is e raised to t. Then we have plus 25 over 6. That e, that is the Laplace transform of this should be e raised to 2t, all right? Because it's minus. And lastly, we have plus 1 over 30. The inverse Laplace of this is e raised to negative 40 since it is plus. So our answer for finding the solution to our differential equation is this. So I hope you learned something for today's video. If you learned something, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more math and engineering tutorials. Again, this is Engineer Abbott. Thank you for listening and God bless.